so hi everyone in this particular video i will be showing you how you can create your own custom mcp server that is model context protocol server to connect cloud ai with any software or any tool so in this case i would be creating a very simple addition tool as you can see available mcp tool add add two numbers so this is a very basic mcp server that i'm creating to add two numbers so first of all i would be showing you how this works and then eventually I will be showing you the entire process to create. Do remember that this is free to use. So MCP servers are free to use with Cloud AI. Apart from that, even creation of custom MCPs is free. So let's get started. Add 37 with 64. So here I've given the prompt. I will just hit enter. As you can see now, it is not using its own knowledge. It is using my tool allow tool from demo demo is the tool name that i'm attached allow for this chat once i'll allow it it will give you an output so this is a very baseline tool that i have created you can create more complex tool just for demonstration purpose now as you can see you can create custom mcp server now let me show you how you can do it so first of all let's get started with the github repo that is behind this so i'm using python sdk model context protocol python sdk to create this mcp server according to my requirement so let's get started so there are certain steps that the team has mentioned to perform to create a custom mcp server so let me open my command prompt so the first command is uv init you need to initiate uv as you can see project is already initialized if not this will get initialized for you once this is done the next step is to pip install mcp and uv add mcp cli as I've already created it, most of the steps, you will be seeing that it's already done, resolved and audited. So if it is not done for you, this might take a few minutes for you. Once done, we will be pip installing MCP. And then the last command is UV run MCP. As you can see, the requirement is UV add MCP CLI that we have done. UV run MCP. Now this is working for us. The next step is to code out your custom tool. So here you can see that this is a addition function that I'm using and I'm using a package called as fast MCP. Do remember this, you need to pip install this as well. Pip install fast MCP. So from fast MCP, import fast MCP. You are naming the name of the model context protocol that is demo. And here is the actual tool that I'm adding. Add the it MCP dot tool and then the addition function. Very, very easy. This description is very important because using this only that Cloud AI would be able to pick out this tool. This is quite easy. This is a very small demo file that I have created for you. You can go for a more complicated version as well. Now, once this is done, we are left with one last setup that is, there's a file that you have created, mcp install server.py. Install server.py. Let me run this. As you can see, added server demo to cloud config. So now once you run this MCP install server.py, it automatically changes cloud's config for you. So if you have already added some existing MCP servers, you know where the config file uh, exists for cloud. So there's the same thing that you are doing for here. Once you are done, we will just check out cloud's config file once. You need to make a certain change if you are using Windows. So this is Claude's config file here. As you can see, these are the existing MCP servers, MCP server SQLite, Blender, DDG search, that is DuckDuckGo file system, and demo, our new MCP server has been added. If you are using Windows, there is one thing you need to do. As you can see here, the command has just UV, but in case of Windows, you need to provide the entire path. So just make it, your entire path dot exe just don't leave it with uv dot exe that's it you are now done now the time is to restart cloud so my cloud is already running i will end this task completely and using task manager don't just cross it else it won't close okay this is done now we will relaunch cloud And as you can see, add, add two numbers is there. If I just go to files and settings, if you go to developer, demo is our 
MCP server that has been added as well. So this is quite interesting. You can even let me change certain things in the MCP server that we have made. Let me make it a subtraction one as well. So you would be able to see that how the tools are getting updated also. So now I would be doing a subtract function as well just to show you that it gets updated as well. So this is we are done. We have now added new tool. And then just go to your anaconda prompt. We will run mcp install server.py again. Now this is again updated. Once this is done, you again need to go to the config. You remember we change the path to full path. As you can see, the more times you will run it, every time you need to reset the command again. In At least for Windows user, I'm telling you this. For others, it shouldn't be an issue. So now we are done. We will terminate Claude again from task manager. This is done. Time to relaunch. And here you can see that if you remember the count was 37, now it's 38. And add function is coming here. Let me check where the subtract function is gone. Subtract is also coming here. Subtract add two numbers. So description has I haven't changed it. I can change that too. And now it will work for you as well. Do remember to change the description also. So this is how you can create your custom MCP server in just a few steps using fast MCP. If you face any issues, do remember to force install fast MCP as well. Because I did face some issues with the MCP version. So in that case, you need to pip install fast MCP as well. After that, I think the tutorial is quite easy. And it's very easy to create custom MCP servers also. Thank you so much.